Hi, Ken. Dip, dip. <laughs> Hold it, they like this side. Your fingers, grab, your fingers on fire. We're gonna rip it like a lawnmower. Create lots of space here so we can pull it back. Try to make this move as not as high as possible. Try to keep it as straight as possible. There. Two. You're gonna, you're gonna flick it off the tips of your fingers. Three. Bam. Like this. The next one is we're gonna work on the string method, which is the invisible string. We grab it from here. We're imagining that a string is pulling along with it. Watch my hips as I move with it. As, as I move my body with it, it creates a lot more convincing than if I just did this. So, take your hands and pull it in. The other method, uh, if we can grab it here, too. And make a string this way. The other method is the mirror method, where we move in the exact opposite direction. Here. So, one thing that we practiced was hand up here. You can make it feathery or you can make it hard, it doesn't matter. This is going to flick upwards, like that. We can grab it. Next one is the brick, like we have a handful of bricks or one brick in our hand, and we're pushing through. We can combine this with the string method. Brick. String, mirror. There's three kinds of rotors that we worked on. One was in our left hand, we're going counterclockwise. Thumb, uh, palm to the sky, other hand grabs underneath, and we turn it until the thumb faces down. Once the thumb faces down, and I'm grabbing the wrong side here, <laughs> we grab it here. So thumbs down or palms up. Both ways, they're both the same. So both palms are up as you grab, both thumbs are down as you grab. That's the full rotor. The, uh, the other method is we hold it off to the side and we're going to spin it over to where the center line moves across and we're going to do a hand roll. So it'll be uh, on our left hand, we're going counterclockwise, hand roll, pull it up to where our palms face towards the sky, our right hand reaches under, right hand roll. And as you can tell, see, we're always grabbing the same way, so both of our hands are always facing. So left hand roll, give it a half rotation, grab, right hand roll, half rotation, grab. Left hand roll, half rotation, grab. Right hand roll, half rotation, grab. The last one is there's several variations. It rolls just start like this, for instance. Uh, my left hand, I'm still going the same direction. I'm going to grab with my right, turn it half a circle, and then my left is going to grab on top. So this is cross grab, turn it halfway. And again, my hands are always facing the same direction. I've always noticed. See, the palms are facing towards the floor, palms are facing towards the sky. Floor, sky. Now, that's your rotor. This is, that's the first because there's a box up in The rotor's here. As soon as it hits 12 o'clock um, with our left hand, we're going to cross it over behind. It's always 12 to 6. So as it hits 12 o'clock here, we're making a circle behind us at 6 o'clock here. So once it hits 12 o'clock from the back, we pull it to the front to 6 o'clock. So 12, cross, cross. Every time it hits, basically every time it's 12 o'clock, we're crossing over. And I create this motion. So we're in our rotors, 12 o'clock, pull it over to 6, 12 o'clock, pull it over to 6. Once we do this, we can uh, actually just keep it unwinding if we're going to the next, the third part. So uh, once we're at 12 o'clock, we're going to give it a half rotation down, and we're going to grab it like this. So here, going to reach over, and we're just going to make sure that our, both of our palms are facing outward like this. Now you're going to want to be with your back behind the wall to do this for a while. Essentially, you're going to create as straight a line as possible while keeping your hand rotating until your thumb points down towards your head. Once it's over there, you're going to grab the same hand with your thumb pointing down towards your head up here, and you're going to pull all the way across. So, it's down here. Up. Down. Oops. <laughs> I added an extra one, that's funny. Okay, so this is the pinwheel. It looks like this. You're going to eventually want to turn your body with it. Mm towards the center. So as the staff moves, your body moves with it. Lastly, we work on the reverse. So we already have the left goes in this direction. Remember, every time it hits 12, we cross. Now we're going to do the exact opposite on the other. So every time it hits 6, we cross. So as we're spinning it around, 6 o'clock, we cross it over up to 12. So this time, it's every time it's 6, we cross it up like this. Fast motion looks like this. <laughs> Slow motion, it looks like this. Six o'clock, you pull it over. You can even use your hand, I guess. Like sometimes you can even use your hand and imagine that you're trying to create the very 
the most straight circle, although you can't quite do it behind you. As soon as it comes up here, you can reach it over. You can even use your pinky to help you out of the eye as well. Yeah. From here, you have full access to the box, and we're going like, to keep building on this box until you have this freedom of movement that you're going to just absolutely love. 